A dozen students perished when the school college burned down many years ago. Now three friends out ghost hunting are going to check if spirits still reside in the school. But when you're dealing with haunted places in the Philippines, what's important is not what you do when you get in, but what you bring with you when you get out. So there were like 12 students inside when the fire broke out, and all of them died. Wow. And then when the fire stopped, they couldn't find the bodies anymore. Creepy, huh? Yep. You're so not into this, are you? <laughs> and of course I'm so into this. I'm so into going to condemned buildings at two in the morning versus, I don't know, being so in bed. You're so not fun. We are so like getting arrested for trespassing. Well, shut up. Oh, come on, Mikey. Come on. The ghosts are waiting. Come on. Let's go. Uh, guys? I really don't think this is a good idea. Oh, so you're scared now? You don't even believe in ghosts. You don't believe in the afterlife. You don't believe in the church? Or the government? Uh, or love? Or having a good time. <laughs> hmm. Wow. I do believe you guys are so not funny. Oh, and I do believe in gravity and that condemned buildings have stuff that like to fall on people's heads. I think I found it. Right. Found what? See? Perfect spot. Yeah, nice. Well, did you bring everything? Yeah. Now what? What's that supposed to be? It's a Ouija board, though. A Ouija board, huh? How very DIY. Did your mommy help you make that for school? This is so stupid. If, if there really is an afterlife, and if there really are ghosts, which I don't think there are, but if there were, I don't think that they'd hang around crappy old buildings. I mean, come on. If I was a ghost and I had nobody to be trapped in, I don't know, I'd go to another planet or another dimension and not wait around here for some some teenagers to text me using some crappy do-it-yourself Ouija board. Just shut up already and sit down. This is supposed to be fun. Hey, whatever. Hands on the glass, right? How do we do this again? Oh, man. Didn't you research? Wait. Isn't there supposed to be a chat or something? 
<clears throat> oh, spirits from the nether world. Nether world. We ask you to join our game. If we, uh, if we may be so bold, we ask you now. Reveal your name. You're really sounding crazy. But then again, no offense, sir. Um, you're guarding a place that has nothing inside it. I don't know which is crazier. Let's go, guys. Let's go. <laughs> Looks like Alex has another excuse not to take you home yet. Yeah, you gotta trust your elders. No, my mom would kill me already. I have to go home. Alright, bye. Okay. Bye, guys. Oh, yeah, hey, Mike. Yo. Going straight back to your place? I wanna go straight back to bed. <laughs> In the Philippines, old folks believe after you leave a wake or any place where there are restless spirits, you shouldn't go home right away. They say that the spirits can go with you and you don't want them to follow you to your home. Alex, Maxine, and Mike refuse to heed that warning. They'll soon discover that they have brought with them some unexpected guests. <laughs> Where have you been? Mom, why do you have to scare us like that? Don't change the subject. Where have you been? Uh, good evening, ma'am. I'm not talking to you. I just have to use your... Maxine, answer me. Okay, I think I have to go now. See you. I was working on a school project with my friends, okay? Friends? Maybe it's just dark, but I only saw one friend here. Well, young lady, where have you really been? Maxine! After my husband died, 
My daughter Maxine and I were left alone at home. She was becoming more and more difficult to discipline. And that night she came home late. And I was very angry because she had not told me that she was going out with that boy, Alex. It seemed that she was always getting into trouble whenever she was with that boy. I never imagined that the worst that could ever happen would happen that night. Never gonna let you out. Uh, when I go into menopause, maybe she's such a pain. Yeah. Oh, look, it's Mikey. I'm just gonna ask him if any ghosts came home with him. Uh, no, I think it'll take more than that to scare Mike. was a bit lame. Yeah, we should do something different next time. Something less dirty and creepy. Oh. But I like dirty. <laughs> Maxine? Oh, great. Maxine, did I ask you to throw out the trash? What is wrong with you, huh?
when the door closed. I thought it was another one of Maxine's antics. But when I heard her screaming from inside, I started to panic because I couldn't go in to help her. There was no other way I could go inside the house. Maxine, open the door! Mom, I can't help! Maxine, what's happening? Mom, there's someone in here! There were voices. There were people laughing. Oh my God. What's happening? Why is this happening? The ghosts. It might be the ghosts. What ghosts? We ran to the old school. The guard. The guard told us not to go straight home. They might follow us. And you did. I don't know. You disturbed the ghosts. What's happening? It was only actually a few minutes after I heard Alex scream that the door opened. The house was empty. I could not find Alex nor my daughter, even if I just heard them from inside the house. And there was no way they could have gone out. I could not find their friend Mike either. I don't know what happened. I went to the old school where Alex said there was a night guard who saw them. But there was nobody there. It's like everyone just vanished into thin air. Was I going crazy? Superstition, warnings from older generations. They may not seem logical. We may even laugh and say it doesn't make sense. But sometimes you have to stop and think. What harm would it really do to throw some salt over your shoulder or to knock on wood or to just take a little extra detour on your way home? <laughs> 